cash. So what do you do with all your leftover corned beef that you didn't eat on St. Patty's Day? You make corned beef hash. We're going to slice it and we're going to dice it. Really fine dice, as best you can do. And I'm going to use all of it because you really need more meat than anything else. But we're going to add some veg too. So out of the freezer, I took my bag of frozen peppers and a half an onion out of the fridge. And then this onion, I'm going to slice it up. And then can you guess what's next? Dice it. Absolutely. We're also going to dice up these green peppers until it's semi-uniform in shape. But we're not done yet. I have one more trick in a bag. What's in the bag? Oh, snap. It's a jalapeno. That's right. We're going to kick up some heat with this. We're going to slice this up and then dice it. And we're going to shove it all over together. And we're going to wait a minute. And then we're going to put it in the skillet. But first, when we go to the stove, you'll see the only thing in the skillet will be three and a third cups of diced up corned beef. Now, this is pretty lean. However, we want to get this warmed up and going before we add our veg to it. So I'm going to stir it around. I'm going to put a little, like half a teaspoon of butter in there because it's so lean. And we're going to be adding vegetables to this too. So I want a little hint of oil or fat at the bottom. Now we're going to add our veg. And we're going to give that a stir around. Super easy. I also added some salt and pepper on top of the veg. That'll help break it down faster. It already smells good. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this. So this has been going for a while. So I'm going to add just two cups of frozen shredded hash browns. You can use the squares if you want, the little cubes. But for this dish, I really do prefer the shredded. So because it's all those potatoes, we're going to add a tablespoon of butter this time. Put the lid on, let it melt. Don't forget the beef is done, so and the vegetables are beginning to soften. So we're just going to stir this around until your potatoes are done. Once they're done, we're ready to eat. So these have been going for a while now. They're really done. I like to make it crispy on the bottom. So if you leave it alone, and then you can see now golden brown. The meat's browned. The potatoes are browning. So good. What I'm going to do is plate this up, and I'm going to put two over easy eggs on it. Oh, here we go. I like to break the yolk and let the ooey gooey yolk just run through the potatoes. But I also like a little more heat. So I'm going to dash it up with some Frank's Red Hot. Is your mouth watering yet? This is so good and easy. I really hope you try this recipe. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Peace. Jimmy.